Pixar films have had some incredible music over the years, some composers being almost as iconic and in relation to Pixar themselves. Music takes the film into different heights and separates the film from being a good film into a great film. Hello, it's me, The Average Critic, and I'm going to be breaking down my top 10 Pixar songs. Any song on this list is deemed worthy as long as it was used in a Pixar film, so even songs by popular artists are considered. Also, please understand this list is my own personal opinion, and if you don't agree, that is absolutely fine. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe, and let me know in the comment section as well what your favourite Pixar songs, and let's start with mine at number 10. A Bug's Life, Time of Your Life A Bug's Life is one of the forgotten gems in the Pixar franchise, but its music is far from forgetful. Pixar's second film really took Pixar to new heights, and its soundtrack is no exception. Randy Newman, a Pixar staple, came back from Toy Story to compose for A Bug's Life, and the whole soundtrack feels larger than life. But Time of Your Life, despite only being shown during the credits of the movie, the music of this piece is heard throughout the movie, as you get small glimpses of the melody heard in other tracks, and it is the baseline for the whole movie. With a catchy melody and Randy Newman-style lyrics, this song always makes those who feel small feel bigger. Number 9. The Incredibles, The Incredits I said this before and I will say it again. The Incredibles is one of the best superhero movies ever. This is no disrespect to the MCU films, but aside from the Avengers theme, the MCU haven't had the most memorable original scores. But The Incredibles has the most fun, adventurous and catchy superhero theme ever. Technically, the whole symphony isn't shown until the end credits, but the theme is played throughout. I remember watching this film in the cinema and I sat through the whole credits purely because of that great tune. It's so cheesy and matches the style of the film that makes you want to go out and fight some crime. Number 8. Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me The original iconic song from Pixar's first film, this song took the whole world by storm. Kids loved it, adults loved it. It wasn't some cheesy, touchy-feely love song like a huge amount of Disney songs that came before it. It's a song about friendship. When listening to this song, I think we can all think of our best friends in the whole world and instantly puts a smile on our faces. After all, there is no better feeling than friendship and this song is the best of the best of them. Number 7. Finding Nemo, Nemo's Egg Probably the shortest song on this list, but in the short time, this song makes you feel a wide range of emotions. Played very early on in the film, just after Marlin loses his wife in a barracuda attack, he is left with one egg and rightly names him Nemo. The whole song has this very deep sea sound that makes you feel like you're under the sea with them. The melody being played very quietly on a piano, it's a simple tune about family, children, and loss, and I love it. Number 6. Ratatouille Le Festin Let's make it very clear. I don't speak French, I can't read it or write it, but I really wish I could sing it. But even though I don't understand the lyrics, this song is simply gorgeous. There's a reason France is associated with beauty and romance, because this song is both. I love that Pixar went with a genuine French song to help engross you into the world and the culture of France. It would have been just as effective to have an English version, but they chose to keep the film realistic and grounded. There is even an English version covered on YouTube, and the lyrics make so much sense. I love that this song never fails to bring a smile to my face, and even though I have no idea what she is saying, the music is beautiful. Number 5. Up Stuff We Did I know what you're all thinking, it's easy to go for the married life sequence for this spot, but as much as the opening is beautiful, it's the musical payoff at the end of the movie which takes a spot for me. Just as Carl gets his house to paradise full, he reads Ellie's adventure book. As the audience, this scene becomes very, very predictable, and we all really know what we're going to see, that Ellie shows that she had a wonderful life with Carl. The music makes the film feel whole as we see the life Carl and Ellie had in the opening, and it finishes off with Ellie's message to Carl, thanks for the adventure, now go have a new one. I mean, holy shit! Pixar, I didn't know I had these sort of emotions. But anyway, the reason this track takes a spot is because it links from the beginning to the end and wraps up the whole film perfectly. Number 4. Toy Story 2 When She Loved Me Need I Say More, probably the saddest song ever made, this song doesn't just tug at your heartstrings, it takes your heart, rips it out and throws it away and kills it into a million tiny pieces. Five years ago, this song probably wouldn't be on this list, but I have found some recent love for this song and its meaning. The Toy Story franchise has always been perfect, but it has never made you feel for these characters as much as this, especially when it came from the new character, Jesse. A song of loss and love, and sometimes it's just too much. But I love it anyway. 
Number three, Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. A song with no lyrics, no meaning other than to showcase the opening credits, and it somehow makes you want to dance. That, my friend, is the power of jazz. This is a song that doesn't get too much credit, but I challenge you to listen to this song and not tap your feet. Monsters Inc. is Pixar's most cleverest and funniest film, and the soundtrack reflects the fun ideology. This jazzy tune takes you back in time to swing and jazz bands of the 1930s and 40s, and as a lover of that music, I am very biased, but when a song this catchy without the film is this good, then it has to take one of the top spots on my list. Number two, Wally, Put On Your Sunday Clothes. The only song on this list to not be an original song, Put On Your Sunday Clothes perfectly sums up Wally's character and the reason you like him. The director, Andrew Stanton, stated about Wally that, you knew he was the last robot on Earth, working by himself. You immediately liked him. Seeing Wally in a destroyed Earth, but still working and listening to this catchy tune from Hello Dolly the Musical makes Wally really much more relatable. He's a robot who shows the most relatable human emotion, which is the love of music and the feelings they give us. Despite Wally being a robot, with this song, he has never felt more human and more real. Before we get to the top spot, I do have some honorable mentions. Cars, Real Gone, an average film, but with a great opening. Inside Out, Bundle of Joy, never thought a character of joy could make me cry so hard. Toy Story, Strange Things. The song got overlooked by You've Got a Friend in Me, but that doesn't stop this song from being absolutely awesome. And now taking my top spot at number one is... Soul, It's Alright. This song may only be played at the end credits, but it sums up the film's themes and meaning perfectly. Listening to this song always brings a smile to my face, no matter how I am feeling. It has an amazing melody, beautiful lyrics, and you can listen to it absolutely anywhere and anytime, and it makes you enjoy the little things in life. It's a perfect song to make you feel better and let you know that, well, it's all right. Life can suck sometimes, but you can wake up in the morning and enjoy those tiny moments that make life good and make you feel better. And that's why It's All Right by John Batiste from Soul takes my top spot of the best Pixar track to date. So thank you for joining me in this video. Let me know in the comments section what some of your favorite Pixar songs are below. I will put all the tracks to this list in the description. If you enjoyed it, why not hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of my videos. Remember, you can follow me on social media, but I hope you are having an absolute amazing day and I will see you all in the next one.